Welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Catch Cup and we're going to try it out in the Grey League. So you can only use Pokemon that you've caught during this season. So let's see what we're going to be running. We got the Shadow and Polion paired with the Annihilate and the Altaria in the back. So this is an interesting match here. Glossopod versus this um, Shadow and Polion. We're both doing some good um, fast move pressure. They are able to get to the move first. X Scissor goes through, gets us into the yellow. Uh, even though it's a resistant mood does pretty good damage but we go for the drill pack and it, they do they decide to let it go and there it is the sh the uh, victory bell and oh man that is horrible for us so going from bad to worse so we got the victory bell and the wiggly tuck to deal with wiggly tuck is going to be really good against our backline here we do get a sky attack i'm trying to get to another sky attack unfortunately no and that is probably going to be the end of our run right there because the sky tag would have either gotten the wiggly tub really low or a potential shield and we needed that extra damage one hydro cannon goes here definitely gets the shield um and you can see right here these charms are chunking away at the annihilate they go for the icy wind makes sense and then where it's going to take us so long to take it down that we are already into the yellow by the time uh we finish out the wiggly tub we go for uh, we go for a little bit of bait there we have a small chance um maybe we can get to the shadow ball at this range they go for the leap play makes sense no we're not going to be able to so ggs to our opponent even nice slash right there would not happen enough so nice play by my opponent and on to the next game unfortunately just uh fast move pressure in that last team was just too much to deal with and um it, there is a double fairy weakness on our team here but that's why we have the shadow and pulley on for that reason all right, next game, let's see what we find. We got the Shadow and Polion versus the Skarmory. Both of us are Shadow. We're going to throw this Hydro Cannon on um, CAP. We do win the CAP tie right here, and they decide to let it go. Nice awareness by my opponent, knowing that they are able to survive it, but we are also going to let ours go. They switch out immediately into the Greedent. We have the Annihilate for this. We're chunking away at this Greedent here. Now we're going to let the first one go. We don't know what moveset they're running. Okay, they're running the Trailblaze and let's see if they're gonna throw another move here we're gonna have to throw this night slash um to try to get a boost number one and number two to apply some pressure here we're gonna let this one go okay ends up only being the body slam makes sense and now we're gonna be able to win this matchup here we're gonna go for another night slash here to chip away and get a little bit of extra counter right there now we see the akamo o we can only get to this night slash here so we're gonna be able to um Triple. Okay, we get a shield from our opponent, which is really good from us. And now we're going to be able to use this Altaria to perfection because all we have to do is shield and maintain alignment. These dragon breaths are chunking away at the Hakamo. But they are also going to be able to fight back with their own dragon claw. So we're just going to double shield and keep this um, Altaria as healthy as possible because we know that they still have Pokemon in the back. But it has no energy, so we decide to uh, snipe that energy as soon as they switch in. And we do have that energy on our ulterior to finish out that Akamo if needed. So, nice fight by us. Good game. Next, let's see what we find. So, we got the Shadow and Polion pair, uh, facing the Sand Slash. Okay, so kind of a core breaker, unfortunately, between the Empoleon and Alteria. We only really have one hard counter to this. So we're just going to call it B. We're going to let this go. Ooh, no good. Unfortunately, um, they were able to throw the drill run. However, we do survive to get a shield back, to get a shield with our Hydro Cannon. And now we can come with our Nihilab. Nihilab is going to chunk away at that Sand Slash. So they switch out immediately into the Stumpfist. And we're going to see if this Altera can either get this low enough so we can get some extra farm with our Annihilate or potentially win this. So let's see what happens. They are going to be throwing these discharges, which are going to be neutral damage. You can see right there. And then here, we're going to throw this Moonblast um, after a little bit of farm. Maybe we get a um, debuff and then we can farm it down. Oh, we do get the debuff, which is great. This is going to help us survive this um, discharge right here. So maybe we come out with some energy here. Okay, we do get the farm down, so that's huge. Now we can switch out. They do come back in with their uh, Sand Slash. We are going to shield here because we want to keep this Annihilate pretty healthy for whatever's in the back. Ends up being the Manting. The back Manting here is going to um, be able to do some super effective damage. 
from their fast move and their charge move. So we throw these shadow ball immediately. And then we're going to throw this nice dash on CAP timing, I believe. This nice dash here would get it. Okay, they actually just um, uh, decided to shield that. We are going to shield here because we want to apply pressure. We know that we're going to try to get to another nice slash, but we force them to use some energy right before we get to the nice slash. So now it comes down to, do we have a move? Oh, not quite, but we do get to this hit, uh, sky attack before they can throw another move right there. So boom goes that team right there. The Moonblast debuff actually came in clutch, able to farm down that Stumpfist, come out with basically one Dragon Breath um, short of a sky attack, and that's what allowed us to win the game right there. So nice play by us. Next game, let's see what we find. We got the, oh, uh, this is bad. Shadow and Polyon versus the Nihilate. We're gonna switch out immediately into Nihilate. Maybe we get them to switch out. They're, they're gonna decide to stay in here. They do have energy for a Shadow Ball. We unfortunately have to shield this. We don't, if we just lose the game. So they do decide to go for the bait. Nice play by my opponent. We're gonna have to go for this Shadow Ball here. We have a ton of energy. One Shadow Ball goes through, does roughly 45, 40% damage right there. Here, we're gonna have to just tank the move. Um, we do potentially have a nice, okay, we do have a nice Lash to throw. So this is good chip damage. All of this energy using to perfection. Um, and now we can have potential farm down with our Empoleon against this man team here. We're definitely going to let this go. And we're going to see if uh, we're going to come out with at least a Dropex. Okay, we do come out with the Dropex so we can throw it at the uh, potential Annihilate if it decides to come back in. Okay, so we're going to get this Dropex to either get a shield or big damage. Okay, and then we're going to switch out and we know that they don't have Ice Punch. So we're hoping we can win this. Okay, Stumpfisk in the back again. We need to be we need to get a debuff basically is what we learned from last time so we need to get to this moon blast as soon as possible and here's the game can we get the debuff from this moon blast goes through no debuff this time so doesn't look like we're going to be able to win this game unless uh, we can potentially farm down from this range here but it does not look like that's going to happen because they're going to quickly be able to get to another move we're going to shield here our only hope here is to try to farm down and we do get the farm down okay and let's see if our okay our opponent ends up having a move anyways so unfortunately not able to win the cap tie versus that annihilate and then our empoleon here is already very low already so ggs to our opponent that's a tough team tough team to beat especially with the annihilate in the front there um our only play in hindsight was to call a bait from that annihilate but that's a tough situation to be in anyways so it is what it is. Let's see what we find next here. Can we get a win on the next game? Here we go. We got the Galate versus the Empoleon. So this is a little bit better for the Empoleons now because they're usually running Steel Wing. Um, they switch out into the Peralligator and we switch out into the Altaria. They did farm up to a potential Ice Beam. So we decided to shield right there. The uh, Ice Beam did get shielded. So that's great shield by us. We're going to be able to apply pressure back though. This guy attack here does get the shield from this Peralligator. And now we're thinking this is Hydro. Okay, we do call the bait correctly. And now it's going to allow us to um, get to another move. But they're just going to throw a bunch of Hydro Cannons at this point. Uh, which is fine because we basically wanted this Peralligator either low or taken out. And just like that, we are able to get to another Sky Attack and even winning back the switch. So that was very, very key. We're going to go back into our Empoleon here. We know that they're going to be able to fire off their move pretty quickly here. This is potential KO, but they go for the Leap Blade, unfortunately. So we are able to survive that. We can get to a move here. This is going to get a shield or get the KO. They go for the shield, and now we're going to force them to use some energy. Okay, they actually switch out and try to catch a move, but we do have the Annihilate for this Jellicent. Um... Ooh, potential Shadow Ball right here. But we have to shield anyways because we want this Annihilate healthy enough to either deal with that Gallade later on. So we go for the Shadow Ball here. Does this KO from this range? Yes. No, it doesn't. And it gives us a little bit extra farm. That's going to come in handy because uh, we're going to be very close to another Night Slash here. Forcing them to use a Leap Blade. This Leap Blade does not KO. And now we're going to be able to get to this Night Slash and take out this Gallade. So GG's to our opponent. That was very close. So check out this team if you haven't already and let us know if you enjoy Catch Cup.